Jabba, what have you done with Jan? If any harm comes to her, I'll personally shove my blaster down your slimy throat. <laughs> I wish you were here too, Jabba. There's nothing like roast kale dragon. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more of Star Wars Dark Forces. So the level we're playing today is called Jabba's Revenge Mission 10. It's actually one of the better design levels. The problem I have with this level is all the freaking mines. Oh my god, there are a lot of mines in this level. And they're in really bad locations, like generally places that I can't get to the mine or I can't see the mine, or it's just like hidden behind a corner and I'm just walking down a hall and boom, I'm dead kind of mines. It's frustrating. I'm just going to say there off the bat, this game is pretty cool, but some of the level design is a little poor at times. Cheap, I should say, not poor. All right, so here's our mission objectives. We have no mission briefing because we've been taken hostage. But our mission objectives are to get your gear back, locate the Navicard, and rescue Jan. Alright, so this opening is probably one of the hardest parts of the level. As long as you know where most of the mines are, of course. We're gonna have to punch a crap out of this Kel Dragon. Fist of Fury! So I find the best way to do this is generally to run circles around him. As soon as you see his face kind of off camera, that's the time to go in and punch, because he's at an angle. But when he's doing that shit, don't even bother. But try to keep close enough that he's just running in circles. Oh ho ho No siree. Whoa, that was close. And don't try to bother when he's lunging at you like that. He will get you. And it hurts. It hurts a lot. Rule of thumb, when you hear him lunge, just keep running. <laughs> That's really what it's all about. Don't do what I just did. I got lucky. Or that. See? That's what I'm talking about. No! Son of a bitch. Oh, I hate that. You know what the best part is? We get to do it again! Because we're playing on normal difficulty, and there are two of them. But first, let's deal with this guy. Took him down. A little lower on health than I would like to have been. In my trial run, I managed to get past both of these without taking a hit, believe it or not. Oh, crap. Okay, let's go around to this side. He kind of got me cornered there. I'm just going to have to be really careful for the rest of the level. I really can't afford to lose a life here. No sorry. Just chill, chill. Come on, die. Got him. Okay, we're still in reasonable shape. Man, Kyle Kutarn is a freaking badass. What'd you do today, Kyle? Well, I punched the shit out of two Kale Dragons with my left fist. I killed two of them with my left fist, in fact. I mean, it doesn't get much more awesome than that. You killed two dragons with your left fist. And we do have a couple weapons here we can use. Open this door manually. Yes, I can. We'll get our weapons back here momentarily, but I just need to be really careful for the rest of the level because there's some trip mines that will get me frequently. So you'll probably see me open doors and sprint backwards. Uh, that's because of these fuckers right there. They are annoying. 
Giant, come on over here. We're gonna funnel him through here. These guys are a little easier to punch. I just kind of run up on them, punch, and then sprint away. Works pretty well. Just not against the Kale Dragon. Going down. You're going nowhere. The false is weak with this one. No, sir. Get down there. Well, I got some shield out of that, at least. And there's my health pack. Perfect. We are back in business. Whoa! See, we're not, we're not fucking around with health today. Oh, my lord. I did not mean to do that. This could be very bad. Oh, nice. Thanks for the mind throw, buddy. Okay, that could have gotten a lot worse. Whoa! Hey, buddy! No, sir! Oh, there's one of those mines I was talking about. Can't believe I didn't see that. <laughs> that worked. Come on. I usually don't use a lot of those, so we'll go ahead and use them now. There he goes. So our weaponry is right there. Now we got the guns back. Life is good. So there should be a switch over here we can hit. There it is. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. deal with all these shitty mines. They have such a large explosion radius. When I think I'm out of the radius, I'm really not out of the radius. So, when you see one, you run for the hills. Just in case, sometimes I run back into this room and I don't want to get hit by any of these. Again, big... Oh, God damn it! See, that's what I'm talking about. The same ones get me every time, too, so... Maybe I'm just gullible. Oh yay, my favorite enemy. I know you guys can't see it, but I could. It's all the green screen. Yeah, we're gonna go with this weapon. This one's this one's pretty nice for its long range. So paranoid about corners. Oh my god. Cause as soon as you hear that doo -doo 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 sound when it's about to explode, you're you can't get away. You just can't. There's just really nothing you can do at that point. It doesn't seem to matter how far or how fast I run. I just can't get away. I guess you could if you're like right on the verge of the blast radius, but that's usually not how it works in this level because they're hidden behind stuff. So there is some fat loot in here. You just need to be really careful about... Yeah! See what I'm talking about? I sprinted away because I knew that was there and it still got me. Cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. That's okay, we'll be fine. Ho 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 ho! Thought you were gonna get me, did you? Where's that other guy? Ow. Alright, we got a red key. Might as well grab that, we're not gonna be back here again. Before we go down there, uh, I thought there was another door around here. Maybe there wasn't. Maybe that was later. I'm gonna remember that health pack is there because I may need to come back for it at some point. I'm just really, really conservative when it comes to this stuff. All right, I know there's a mine in here somewhere. Oh, see, where was it? I didn't even see it. Oh, the explosions! See, after this room, we'll probably go back and get that health pack. Oh, you got your own man. Oh, sirree! 
Time to bail. All right, let's go get that health back. Not risking it. There we go. Now, there's also some guys flanking you on the platforms up ahead. There's one right up here. He is pain in my ass, too. There's actually two of them up there. I see your greenness. Whatever that is. There's in one over there, and there's one up there, too. And I swear, as soon as they throw that thing, it's so hard to get away from. Near impossible. Unless you're already moving, there just does not seem to be a way. took care of him. There's an item I've never actually figured out how to get to. Very low on health. I think there's a miner on that corner. Ah! See, when you do actually get away from the mines, it's very satisfying, but god, they're so cheap. I've been hit by, like, a series of three of them before, and it's like, well, you fooled me the first time, you won't get me the second time, and then two seconds later, what do you know? Whoa! Oh, somehow I managed to get away from that one. But it's not a common occurrence, not at all. Mr. Grenade Man, get out of my life. Whoa. That was like a grenade jump right there. Got lobbed up into the air a little farther. How convenient. See, this Kale Dragon is kind of weird because he literally cannot get to me. I just sit here and mow him down. Poor guy. Ow! Yeah, I knew that was coming. But I say, dodging is not really a thing in this game. Not easily, at least. We got two lives left, which should be fine. As long as we're conservative, watching our health, watching out for mines. Sometimes the mines will show up a little bit better when I use my goggles. Just taking around the corners. Sometimes they hide them behind these pillars. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm having flashbacks to Vietnam. Definitely want to kick this guy through here. Come on. Come on, buddy. There's another one. Oh, ho, ho. slaughtered. Need the yellow key. So in order to get the yellow key, I think we need to drop down. All right, we got the yellow key. Moving right along. I think that was the only one down here. Let me up. Pull up, Porkins, pull up. I can hold it. Pull up. Mines, anybody? Mines? No? Switch it up here since we're in close quarters. This area's kind of dark. Is that a mine? I don't think that's a mine. That's a freaking mine. No! Ha <laughs> ha! You'll not foil me on this day. Oh, jeez! Yes! Escape! So I guess uh, if you have a barrier between you and the mine, it works okay. So maybe I could do that number. Trigger it and then move away and not take any damage. That might be a thing. Ow. Mr. Grenade guys are not my friend either. Ah, 
I see your mines. It's interesting because they keep throwing them into the ceiling in this room. It's like they can't do anything. It really is the most effective way I've found to destroy mines too. Shooting them doesn't seem to work. For whatever reason. Just die. Anybody home? Oh, hello. I'm just gonna stay back here. Those guys are pretty easy to kill, to be honest with you. They take a, quite a number of hits, but they're not hard to destroy. All right, we're making really good progress here. We haven't taken any damage in a while. Knock on freaking wood! That's not the gun I like to use against those. It's not fast enough on the impact. There we go. Oh yeah, there's a secret right there. Got me an extra life. Always a good decision. Any mines? Nope, okay. That would have been like the perfect place for a mine too. What are you thinking, devs? You're supposed to troll me harder. Oh, the brutality. What do these pigmen ever do to me? Besides kidnap me and threaten to kill me. Picking them off from a distance. I know somebody in the comments is gonna complain about me playing the game that way. Like, it's Doom, you gotta get up in there and fight. No, fucker, this is what I do. I fight from a distance. Especially when I have limited lives and I have to deal with mines that can kill me really easily. All right, we got the Nava card. Objective complete. Let's get the F out of here. Do we get to fight Jabba, is he the boss? That would be cool. Not really sure how that would work though. He's just a giant gelatinous mass. I'm not sure he would work very well in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Especially against a guy that can kill two Kale Dragons with his left fist of fury. Anything back here? Any mines? Fucking hate mines. Mines? Oh, I thought that was a... It is a door. Some guys down there. I do like this level design, though. It's not confusing as shit like some of the other ones. I didn't even know that was back there. How handy. Some of these levels are just so confusing. Hello, Kale Dragon. They're a lot easier when I've got a gun. A whole lot easier. There's the second one. It's A-OK. -okay. Just keep your distance, keep out of their jumping range, and they can't do anything. You might recognize that location down there. I think that's where we started. Not anymore. Oh! Who's there? Holt! Holt, good sir! Oh, I killed you. Good. I don't think those do anything. There's a switch. What does that do? That was a secret. That's another secret I did not find last time around. It's just me. Don't mind me, just trying to find Jan. Janet, Jan, Jan, where are you, Jan? 
Stan! Stan! Where are you, Stan? Oh, freaking frick mines! Mm. <laughs> oh, the mines! I'm telling you guys, I'm gonna have flashbacks. I'm gonna have dreams tonight about landmines. It's gonna be terrible. Get him! Oh, jeez! Was, was that a mine? I didn't even see it. Some of these mines, they just, like, come out of nowhere. And look, look where they put that mine. That's the place I have to jump to. So literally, when you jump over there, you will hit the mine. There's nothing you can do about that besides lob a bunch of grenades and try to detonate it ahead of time like I just did. Like, who does that? A bunch of trolls, that's who does that. Thanks a lot, LucasArts. You guys are a pain in my dick hole. All right, here we go. Let's, let's see, is there anything down there I need? No, okay. Yep. <laughs> I love that fall right there. It's just a, just a split second of a scream. And it's one of those generic, like, can screams too that you can hear in, like, a ton of stuff. A very famous scream. Yeah! <laughs> I can't even do it. Did I get him? Anybody else? See any glowing eyes? No? Well, there's my ship, so we're, we're pretty much at the end of the level here. I've just got to jump across without freaking getting caught. Okay. Still have three lives, so we're doing pretty damn well. Uh, I think our character is in here. Yes. I found you, Jen. Let's get out of this joint. Thanks. I thought I was done no for. No time for hugs. Let's get out of here. It was like totally cut her off, didn't I? All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed Mission 10. I'll see you all in Mission 11.